Okay, in the last um, set of videos we were talking about length in the metric system and we talked about how that standard unit was the meter. Well, for capacity we talk about liter and then for mass we talk about gram. This word weight is a little bit of a misnomer because weight is really um, the the after effects from mass affected by gravity. So um, actually the gram is technically a mass measurement. Okay, but I want you to look at this um, box that we have listed out again. It should look extremely familiar because if you'll remember from what we did with the meter, um, we the only difference was that we had meter in here and we had things like decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. Whenever we're working with capacity or uh, like a volumetric measure, then the unit is the liter instead of the meter. Well, the only thing that changes within the metric system is that base unit. And so instead of working with meters, now we're working with liters. But we still have the exact same prefixes. They still mean the exact same numerical values. And they still have the exact same prefixes. So we have, you know, kiloliters, hectoliters, decaliters, deci, centi, milli. That's the beauty of the metric system is once you have your prefixes figured out, then it doesn't matter whether you're working with meters or liters or, as we will see here, with grams. It is the exact same thing. The same prefixes, the same numerical values, and the exact same um, lettering. The only thing is that we're working with grams when we deal with with mass. So if you'll remember that mnemonic device that we talked about a while ago, we said kids have dropped over dead converting metrics will help you to remember kilo, hecta, deca, original units, whether they be meter, liter, or gram, Dead is deci, C is centi, M is milli. So let's try working some of these and see where we go. Here we're going to take 15 liters and we're going to convert that over to milliliters. Well, remember, we want to start off with our mnemonic device. That'll help us. Kids have dropped over dead converting metrics. So if I want to move from 15 liters over to milliliters, liters would be our original units. So to go to milli, we'd have to move one, two, three places to the right. So here again, we'd move one, two, three places to the right. So that would be 15,000 milliliters. It's just a matter of moving the decimal point. What if we started with 3,000 milliliters and we wanted to convert over to liters? Well, milli would be here. And to go to the liters, that would be the original unit. So we go one, two, three places to the left. So one, two, three places to the left would be three liters. And then finally here, changing 8 milliliters over to liters. So 8 milliliters, we're starting off with here at the milli. We again would have to move 1, 2, 3 places to the left in order to um, change that. So 1, 2, 3 places to the left would be 0 .008 liters. And that is the way that we would convert with capacity.